So let me go to the next uh, module item, which is the um, multiple choice timed assessment. So you have three attempts. And one of the reasons you have three attempts is some of the questions can be difficult. And the 10 minutes is uh, not a lot of time, one minute per question. So one intent of this uh, three attempt is that you get some practice attempts. And systems, go, system is just going to keep your highest scored attempt. So, you know, on your first attempt, if you do great, you get, you know, eight out of 10, that's actually a great score, then great. You got nothing to lose with the remaining two attempts. Um, somehow, if you do poorly on the first attempt, maybe you get a score of two or three, then uh, my advice to you is that you should uh, take some time to study and uh, before you uh, do your next attempt. And I'll tell you some ways to uh, study. Uh, so actually, one way in which you can study is uh, using the generative AI. So for my first attempt, I'm going to use this in a way that you should not. Like if you do use it the way I'm gonna use it right now, that is cheating. That is academically dishonest use of generative AI. But uh, you can imagine flipping it around. Um, instead of using the generative AI while you are taking the assessment, again, which is forbidden, you should not be doing that. I'm not demonstrating something that you should be doing. Um, Instead of doing that, imagine you went through the timed assessment and after you go through timed assessment, you have a way to access the questions, access your answers, and imagine you are reviewing those questions and answers and in that time, you are using generative AI. That is perfectly allowed and that could be a way you can uh, you can figure out which questions you got wrong and what the correct answer is, why they are correct. This can be like a virtual tutor that's uh, more responsive than I would be. I would love to, I, I do love you answering your questions, but I'm not gonna answer as quickly as uh, perplexity would. But, you know, so that's one potential way you can use, you can study for yourself. So, uh, so with that, uh, let me for now, just to show you one additional set of 10 questions that you can see um, that's, uh, that I'm gonna just cheat my way through and I'm, basically going to do a um, contest between perplexed and me. So the first attempt, I'll have perplexed the answer it. Uh, and it's done well in the past few semesters, uh, past couple semesters, well, past the semester really, the one before that was ChatGPT. I would bet good money that it's going to score better than uh, 7 out of 10, possibly even 10 out of 10. Um, and then I'll do it again, and I'll just do it on my own. So, um, so the, this first attempt will, will um, I'll cheat my way through again. You should not be doing what I'm doing and just doing this as a way to test, hey, where's the cutting edge in the generative AI? By the way, I have a paid account, which is why I have so many users of Copilot here. Oh, it's not popping up. I have like 600 users. Uh, Anyway, so uh, the 10 minutes is a really short amount of time, so I'm going to be quick about it. I'll just copy and paste. Now, mathematical expressions don't paste well, so I have to just type those in. So it's going to be meters squared per second squared. Oh, wait. Uh, no, let me just refresh. Uh, didn't mean to uh, do that. I, okay, let me copy. I'm wasting a lot of time. Meter squared per second squared uh, times meter per second times horsepower, and I'm pressing down shift as I do enter there, that's how I'm uh, changing line without submitting. So um, I figured out last semester that it's quicker for me not to replace these with A, B, C, D. So that's how I'm going to do it, meter per second squared, okay. And while I'm cheating with the uh, perplexity, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to turn my physics brain off, I'll basically not be thinking through other than making sure the expressions get copied correctly. So answer four, yeah, taking, and I have to read it to answer carefully to kind of see, yeah. Oh wait, did I see check? Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, the correct answer is that follows zero at the top, follows changes, uh, direction at the top, I call it that's this one yeah all right next question so think because i'm not spending time replacing this with abcd 
uh, perplex they might finish this in like five six minutes which is probably about the same speed as me uh, change of position um, and if there's time left at the end I will review perplex these answers and uh, correct anything that um, that uh, that um, that I s can spot are incorrect um, but we'll see <laughs> Again, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets 100%. It's done well. Uh, six, maximum is six times. Okay, maximum is six times. Okay, I think that's the choice. Um, and again, because I'm turning off my physics brain and basically cheating my way through, uh, I'm not re bothering to read the rest of the um, <laughs> things. Now, if you are using this to help you study, as in you are reviewing your answers, not um, I think it's in the speed, instantaneous speed. Um, uh, you are you help using it to review something you've already submitted. You should be reading through. You should be you know making sense of it. I mean that's the reason you are using it, right? You are not sure if you got a question right or correct, so um, so you are using it to kind of see um, um, what the. Um, what uh, GPT's explanation would. So, uh, okay, it's gonna give me the final, oh wait, that's pretty quick, okay. Uh, huh, it's not choosing one of the choices, but I can kind of go from here to there. Well, okay, question seven. And by the way, one value to you in this exercise is that you get to see 10 more examples of um, multiple choice questions and um, I, I will, show you in the part of the recording that I plan to edit out uh, for future. Uh, I, I will show you um, how many questions there are in the pool. It uh, gets larger and larger. Okay. Yeah. I, right now, I have no idea if that's correct or not because I wasn't reading. I wasn't paying attention. I was just um, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one of the reasons you shouldn't be cheating because really the thing that determines your grade is whether you understand the physics or not. And uh, there's a whole process we'll go through for that. Uh, if you understand physics well, then you know you're gonna you're gonna do well. Um, but it doesn't matter if you get ten out of ten in multiple choice timed assessment. If uh, at the end of whatever process you went through, you didn't understand anything, then. Um, then, you know, the 10 out of 10 isn't going to turn into an A. So, um, even though, you know, I would, for a, the, a person I would describe as an A student can probably get like 7 out of 10 on multiple choice questions. So, uh, so this is a good way for you to check yourself. The score itself doesn't actually matter. Um, what matters uh, is um, you knowing how much physics you understood. So... That's one of the reasons not to cheat because cheating just to uh, corrupt your data. Score means nothing <laughs> if you cheat. Uh, so with that, uh, correct uh, is let's go avoid getting hit by the. It was directly. I think that's wrong. Um, uh, let's see, let's go on. We went the boil of getting hit by. That uh, way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think that might be wrong, but I have to turn my physics brain back on and actually start thinking about it. Okay. I got four minutes. Uh, I think that's enough time to double check. So this was correct. That's the correct unit for acceleration. Uh, so up is positive. Uh, velocity at the top. Change the direction. On the way. I think that's correct. Um, yeah, that's correct. Uh, um, I think that's correct. Um, uh, I probably should uh, update this to re refer to Tesla at some point. Uh, everyone. Well, um, odometer, total distance, speedometer. Yeah, that's correct. Um, so here, two seconds, yeah, two times that, yeah, I think that's correct. Um, two balls are dropped from same height, one second apart, yeah, this is correct. Um, and yeah, we can read the explanation later. <laughs> um, initial speed of the same, and one angle to this. Uh, 
Does it say it's on a level ground? Doesn't say level ground, but it's a common assumption. So in that case, 45 degrees should be correct. Above horizontal, yeah. It's just the same question twice. That's sometimes how the uh, lock of the draw is. It's that uh, question pool that we use. <laughs> okay, two questions that are the same. It's not intentional, it's just the roll of the dice. So yeah, I think I said that this is incorrect. So you know, let me do it this way. I'm gonna um because uh, the correct answer is this. Uh, if the boy uh, so directly in the NM, if the boy lets go, he will get definitely hit. Yeah, water. So this is the correct choice. So let me leave it at the wrong choice that the uh, uh, ChatGPT or perplexity had it at. It was saying the most correction. It was this. Prediction based on principle the effect of both the water balloon and the subject. So let's go at the same time. They both fall at the same rate, thus the balloon would not hit the falling boy because it would continue on its uh, initial trajectory, which was aimed. Um, um, yeah, I guess there's a potential confusion over what does it mean aimed at the boy. Um, was it aimed at to hit uh, like a uh, end at where the boy was or something like that. But let me uh, model for you um, kind of uh, a proper use, potentially proper use of um, ChatGPT or generative AI. So I'm going to submit an end. I think it's going to be 90% correct. So submit an end. Yeah, 90%. And uh, as you look at it, so, you know, after you um, do it, you can review work in Gradebook and uh, if you somehow refresh and come back to this later, the screen will look slightly different. Um, you can still click on review work in Gradebook and you can look at your previous attempt. All right, so far I have one attempt. And uh, so this would be one um, potentially a valid, honest, uh, helpful way of using generative AI. Um, as you, so, you know, you got 90% um, and you want to get 100%. Now, as you are looking at it, you won't know which questions you got right. The assessment, the setting is a set up so that um, it won't tell you the it, it won't tell you the it, it won't tell you the correct answers and the answer key until the due date. So until midnight tonight, uh, you won't know that. Or if you use late pass, um, it's the new due date that it'll use. So let's say you are as you are reading through, you are not sure. Hmm, did I miss this question? So you could ask uh, generative AI that, you know. Um, so you could uh, say something like this even. So, you know, when I was uh, cheating, I was, um, um, so, uh, you know, I was just, you know, cheating. I was just uh, going through it quickly. And I could uh, um, ask GPT. Um, so uh, I answered B, and I'm not sure if uh, that was correct. Uh, was it correct? And it, I think it should be able to answer that. Um, so, you know, you can use generative AI as a virtual tutor. That is totally allowed. You are allowed to have a tutor. And if you've already taken it, you can have outside help while you are reviewing and studying for yourself. And it says, yeah, it says it was correct. And you can do that with every question that you are not sure of. And let's say we finally reach the question 10. Um, there are some um, degree of randomness, so uh, we'll, let's see um, <laughs> if uh, uh, perplexity would uh, get it wrong a second time. Um, we'll see. And we'll say uh, I answered D, which is wrong, but it, that was the perplexity answer, so it might tell you that was correct. Um, uh, I answered D. Is that correct? Um, and it might tell you wrongly that that was correct based on the yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, like any tutor, tutors can be wrong. I, your instructor can be wrong. <laughs> and I guess here the... Um, uh, let me see if I can give you some clarification. Uh, what if uh, by aimed um, 
the other boy aims a water balloon cannon directly at him. The question meant that um, there was a straight line line of a sight from the cannon to the hanging boy. Uh, would these still be correct? Uh, maybe it'll correct itself. Uh, well, that's the question. So let me skip. Uh, yeah, I think it's just gonna be wrong. Um, so let me see. Um, under what scenario would uh, B be correct? I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Uh, so you know, there are some questions that, um, but you know, it's a fairly decent. It's a tutor who can get ninety percent. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I think that's just overly complicated answer. That's not correct. So what I did tell you, for the sake of the correct answer, correct answer is this, and it's the uh, you've seen the. The shoot the monkey video in the uh, conceptual questions, um, the, it's that scenario. This question is about that scenario. So, um, so as you've seen in the video, uh, this is what happens. So I'll just leave that there. Um, but, you know, if you're using generative AI to help you study as you review, that's, uh, um, you know, that's a, a way to do it. And uh, it might still get some questions wrong. And that's what really, you know, that's the case where... Uh, you would suffer through the delayed response of your instructors because uh, we would be more right than <laughs> ChatGPT will be.